Hey guys, how's it going? All right, welcome to the part three of the tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a webhook and then we are going to add that webhook to the Facebook application that we created on the part two of the tutorial. Okay, let's get started. Um, so we are going to use Python and Flux to create a webhook. I already have um, a virtual environment created and I already have Flux uh, installed on the virtual environment. Okay, please do that first. Um, after you do that, let's uh, dive into the into coding. Okay, plus uh, we are going to import Flux. Um, if you don't know much about Flux, you don't have to um, worry worry a lot. It's pretty simple framework to pick up. Um, so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a route and the route will just be a index for now. And in that route, I'm only going to allow a get request for now. Okay. Um, and I'm going to call the function webhook and, and there'll be a request. If, if the request is get, then we return 200, return 200. After that, we are going to run the write a code to run the development server that comes with Flux. Okay, um, we only want to um, run this module if someone directly calls the module. Okay, if someone tries to import it, we don't want to run it. That's why I've added if name equals to main. Okay. And we want to run it in a debug mode so that if we make any code changes, the development software refreshes automatically. Now let's try running it in the terminal. Okay, so our development server is up and running. All right, and it returned 200. All good. Now let's go to developers Facebook and open up our application that we created before. Um, the application is image resize. You might have named it differently, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to the webhook section and I'm going to select page and we want to subscribe to this thing. Okay. Now let's put in a URL and don't, don't worry about the secret thing. Uh, we'll just, we'll just put in like a random thing for now. And if I try to verify and save, Facebook complains the URL has to be HTTPS, okay? Uh, because uh, Facebook will transmit like sensitive information to the webhook, so it has to be encrypted. Um, that, so that's good. Um, if I try to add HTTPS, there's another complaint, okay? It says the URL couldn't be validated. That's because the URL is only running locally and Facebook is looking for something that's available on the public, but it's not. Okay. So to get around this problem, what we are going to do is we are going to use this amazing tool called NGROC. It is available for free to download on all of the operating systems. So if you are on Linux, Mac, Windows, it doesn't really matter. Um, and it's free. So that's good. Um, what it does is it securely tunnels your local host to the public web. Um, so I have already downloaded and installed ngrock. After you do that as well, um, run this command. And what this command does is it listens to 5000 port and our flux is running on 5000. And it also tells the server to start on SSL because uh, remember, Facebook complained about um, the site not being HTTPS, so we need to run it in SSL. Now let's click enter, hit enter. So after uh, you hit enter, you get this special URL which should be available publicly. Meaning if you, you know, if you give this URL to a friend, they should be able to access what's um, running locally. Okay. If I try to open that URL, I see the same thing that I see in the local host. Now let's try adding that thing 
on Facebook. Okay, and let's let's call this verified token secret for now. All right, we still have one more error. Now it says the URL couldn't be validated. Response doesn't match challenge. All right, so when Facebook sends a request to the webhook, it sends three special parameters and it expects us to return back the challenge parameters, which will have like a special um, a random digit. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look on our development server. Okay, uh, as you can see, there's this thing called hub.mode, there's hub.challenge, and there's hub.verify token. Okay, so what we might, what we want to do is, um, we want to first check if, if the secret token that we have on the Facebook matches in our code. Um, this is solely for the security reason because we don't want anyone to intercept our request. So we are going to check um, if the token is valid and if the token is valid, then we are just going to return whatever it's on hop.challenge, okay? Um, on production, you, you might want to keep this a bit more complicated. For now, we will just call it secret, okay? So now let's guess the, get those query parameters. Equals to dogs. Verify token. And let's get the challenge. Hub dot challenge. And now what we want to do is we want to condition based on the secret key. And if it matches, then only we want to return the challenge query parameters. If it doesn't match, for now we'll just return 400 bad request. okay? All right, so let's try adding that in. Verify and save. It's done. All right, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. In another tutorial, we will generate a base access token on the Messenger tab on Facebook, and then we will modify the webhook to um, modify the webhook to cater for post request get the user input and return something back to the user okay all right see you in the next one guys have fun bye